Hi all, welcome to another session. So in the last session we discussed about window handling in Selenium. So where we saw how to handle window using child, how to handle child tabs in Selenium basically. So in this session we'll be studying about action class in Selenium. So we'll be studying about how to do a right click or normally click onto an element or basically how to if you if you have a case of drag and drop so we can use uh, selenium actions class to do that so let's quickly move on to our document that we have okay <clears throat> so the topic itself says that handling mouse operations so in selenium we basically use um, actions class to you know perform mouse operations so action class is present inside interaction and package okay so this is nothing but actions method so these are non static in nature so that is you will have to create an object of the actions class so we have we have perform method we have move to element we have click we have send keys we have click and hold we have release we have move by offset drag and drop double click and context click okay so i'll be teaching the majority of the things that are used in general scenarios so i'll not go with each and every method so let's quickly move on to that for that i have created a class here itself so let me quickly so demonstrate you basically this is the class sorry this is the website so let me move on to our element and buttons so we'll verify the double click right click and click me event onto this website okay so double click if you I, if i give a single click this is not functional if i give a double click so it's saying that you have done a double click okay so this is the double click event then if i do a right click it will show you that you have done a right click and if i simply click onto this so it will show that you have done a dynamic click okay so it's simple let's do that quickly so we have id of double click btn so nothing driver dot get i'm just navigating to the url so before navigate after navigating to the url let me click make a clarity that uh, we'll use i said that we'll use actions class so we'll have to create an object of action class actions act let's say is equal to new actions just try to import this okay so what it's saying that add an argument keyword or keyboard or web driver or something so we'll have to pass the driver object into this the in the constructor of actions class we need to pass the driver object okay this is the main thing in to pass in uh, actions class so you need to pass the driver object in this correct in the constructor of this so now once uh, passing this i can use this act reference variable to access all the method of uh, basically actions class so let uh, so first let me find that element driver dot find element and by dot id so what was the id double click okay so let me save this up let's say dbbtn double click button so this will be a web element type okay now let me do now let me do act dot double click so this is the event this is the method double click and what we need to pass here inside this we need to pass the element itself which from on which element you want to perform the double click just pass it here in the custom or in the as an argument so and also the major thing in every action class in every method you need to add dot perform at last okay so this is the necessary thing that you need to do in uh, when you are dealing with actions class so with every method you need to change the dot perform method okay so this is compulsory so just anything like act dot right click dot perform or any method if you use you are giving after that that should be chained with dot perform method okay so this is compulsory something let me wait a minute let's add a thread dot sleep so that you can see it easily 5000 millisecond then give a driver dot quit 
let me run this run as java application so it has clicked and it is showing here correct you have done a double click so this is done then we have we have to see how to do a right click onto this correct so right click uh, oh it's basically itself a right click button so that's why so the id is right click button copy this up so again the same piece driver dot find element by dot id then this is the right click element right btn let's say create a local variable again action dot for right click we have a method name as context click okay so it's nothing like right click it's context click and as usual dot perform should be chained with this okay let's run this up So it has done a double click then it has done a right click okay so now it will close yeah so this is done and this one is for a simple click so let me go here and here there you can see the id is dynamic here okay so in this case we cannot use id so this is a perfect example of uh, we were seeing that how where why do we write such thing uh, using why don't we use dynamic id so here we won't use because this is dynamic and this will change in each and every refresh let's say i'll refresh this and if i inspect this again so you can you see this has changed now so let's simply write a x path for this control f i hope you know how to write that till now our slash button then okay text function is equal to click me there is no at the red sorry okay copy this up and again So what was the name? Let's say click BTN. Click BTN and uh, what we need to do, we need to call the click event here. ACT dot click and then chain it with dot perform. So this will again And then let me pass this here
double click is done right click is done waiting for five seconds then click me will be yeah so dynamic click is also done so that's it so this was about this so let me show you one these are pretty much simple same uh, there's nothing like new on to this i just wanted to show i'll in this video about this so let me show you one more example that is related to this what i think yeah we we'll, what this scenario is that we will be performing a drag and drop okay so i'll copy this i'll drag this i'll pick, pick this up from here and i'll drop here so we'll have to do this so let's see how to do that let me create a separate class for this one let me copy the template code here So we are here now what we need to do we have navigated to this URL basically so we this how to do drag and drop and basically using drag and drop you need to find which element you want to the source and the target element okay so what is the source and the target element source is this and and target element is this one okay this is the source this need to be dragged to the target so we will have two things in our mind source and target so inside the drag and drop method what we have in actions class so we first give the source and then in the second argument we pass the target and then the simple build dot perform dot build dot perform simple method chaining okay so let me do that okay for that case i need to inspect this so its id is draggable here so let me find this element let's say driver dot point element by dot id what is the id here draggable okay and let me save this as drag element okay create a local variable then driver dot find element by dot id again and we'll have one other element that is droppable element okay so yeah this is droppable id and let me save this up as well let's say drop ELE and post this web element okay then what we need to do okay first we need to create an object of the actions class so simple as that actions is it t is equal to new actions pass the driver in constructor and import this from selenium okay now act dot drag and drop so we have it saying that uh, that web web element source drag and drop on the basis of web source source element and the target web element okay and this is uh, on the basis of indexing that is source and the target of in the basis of accesses x or y access whatever whatever accesses you if you know the ui of that accesses so you can uh, you know the dimension so you can do use as this as well but i am using here as source in the target okay so what is the source source is the drag element that is i told you drag element is the source and the target one is this we'll see where we want to drop okay then dot build dot 
perform Achha, one more thing that i am using here dot build dot perform why because in in, in the previous methods we uh, previously we used to use dot perform only but inside perform method also there is a use uh, internally it's implemented as dot build dot perform itself okay so this is this 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 is also same as dot perform okay so let me run this up but for that let me add a thread dot sleep Five thousand seconds. Let me add throws declaration here. No driver dot quit. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, I haven't set the path here. Path here. Path here is uh, this one. So now let me run this up. Okay, so it pulled this up and dragged it, dropped it here. And now this will close. So this was all about today's lecture. So this is how we perform actions, uh, use actions class for performing few actions in Selenium. So let's meet in the next lecture about something else. I hope you find the in the video is informative so let's meet in the next lecture thank you